So you don't understand the symmetry menu. Not a problem. If you press L or click here, you will activate symmetry, and a red line dividing your object will appear. If you click here, you'll display the manipulator, which lets you manually drag where your dividing line of symmetry is positioned. If you click it again, it will disappear. But for now, we're gonna leave it on. If you click here, you will see that there are two types of symmetry, mirror and radial. Mirror is the one that you probably are familiar with. As usual, you can change the settings from X, Y, or Z. And if you want to control the line of symmetry without dragging the manipulator, you can do that with these numbers here. Display refers to the red line that represents your symmetry. You can change it to another color by clicking here. You can hide it by unchecking show intersection. And if you want to see what the actual division looks like behind the scenes, you can show the plane like this. Show cursor refers to the red dot that pops up on the opposite side while you're working on the other. It will normally disappear when you left click and start painting, but if you want it to stay visible all the time, uncheck hide while painting. If you don't want to see it at all though, just uncheck show coarser. And manipulator size just controls how big the manipulator is. If we go up here, you'll see the second type of symmetry is called radial. So here's the difference between the two. Normal symmetry is based on negative one and positive one, left and right. It's basically just mirror opposites. Radial, on the other hand, is more like an array of math. Now, a lot of you might be asking, why would I ever need to do that? And the answer is, you'd be surprised. Radial symmetry is really good at making beautiful, organic-looking repeating patterns like flowers or ornaments. Because if we left-click, it will apply our design equally all around the surface. Now, it defaults to the Z-axis, but as usual, you can easily change it to the Y-axis or even the X-axis if you want. And as usual, you can adjust the center of the symmetry with these numbers here for each of their respected axi. Now count is the total number of times that it will repeat and apply your design. It defaults to six, but if you change it to something like three, it will rearrange itself to only draw three. If you pick nine, it will again rearrange itself to draw nine. And if you ever want to augment or skew the grouping closer together, you can do that by adjusting the angle span. Display is the same as the standard. The color of your center is controlled here. The intersection just means the red dot that shows you where the center of origin is for all your cursors. You can turn it off with this. And the axis is a tiny red line that goes through your entire object to show you how the intersection was decided. If you don't want to see it, you can turn it off with this. And as usual, the cursors normally hide themselves when you start painting. But if you want them to stay visible, uncheck this box. And if you want to hide them entirely, uncheck Show Coarser. And last, if you want to change the size of the manipulators, you can just adjust that by dragging the bar here. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.